it's a new day we still out here camping our buddy Billy took off and now we're out to explore the great wild by ourselves just the two of us one truck a jumping Melissa we're exploring she's jumping for joy I'm excited we're gonna try and bring you to some cool places today we gotta be a little careful because we are solo now. It's just us and the trailer. We don't have a buddy in case we get stuck or whatever. So wish us luck. Wish us luck. Wish us safety. Wish us, I don't know what other people wish. Let's go, come on. Let's go! We made it to our first location, which is the Burrow Schmidt Tunnel. See, there's a tunnel right there. It's a mining tunnel that Mr. William Henry Burrow, nicknamed Burrow Schmidt, dug. He dug it all by hand, and it took him what, like 26 years? 38. 38 years and the reason off. he dug it by hand oh well there's multiple reasons we read on atlas obscura that everybody thought he was crazy for wanting to dig a tunnel through a mountain so it literally goes in here and it comes out on a different side but realistically the reason he did it this way was because he actually was following a large vein of gold that he found in the rock and he didn't want people to know that he had found a bunch of gold so he just kind of went with the idea of, yeah, I'm crazy and I'm digging a hole through a mountain so nobody would steal his gold. It's pretty genius when you think about it. Yeah, and just let everybody think that he was crazy and uh, even after an actual road was created that he could have used instead, he just kept chugging away, chugging away, digging at it with only hand tools. And that was just because you know, he needed access. He was crazy. Through. He was he crazy. Was determined. He was actually he was charging through. He's actually very smart, and he was protecting his gold. Um, you know, back in the day, people would, I don't know, I would assume shoot you, kill you, steal you your like gold. Claim jumpers and jumping claims. But anyways, stealing all your stuff. Let's go. Uh, right? Let's go. Let's go spelunking. Oh, and it's half a mile long. Did we say that? No, we didn't. It's it's half, a, it's mile half a mile long, long, and we're gonna take you guys with us. Let's do it. We only have one flashlight. Come on in. Entering the tunnel, Melissa. Low bridge, low bridge. All right, so we're entering the tunnel. We'll do our best to uh, narrate and have this lit up. Um, we're just shooting with the GoPro. The entrance is a little narrow. You have to crouch down. Once you get in, you can kind of stand up fully. So this tunnel is a half mile long and it's very spooky. This is high production value right now. I feel like we're literally uh, shooting the Blair Witch Project. Oh, oh. Can you imagine carving this whole tunnel by hand? Pretty awesome. I'm going blind. She's going blind, so we're gonna we're gonna revert to our previous angle. So that right there is the view of the start of the tunnel. This is no flashlights. So if you don't have a flashlight, it's 100% pitch, pitch black. And then here is our flashlight. To give you an idea. And we're not even halfway in yet, so it shows you how dark it is in here. So you need a flashlight if you come for sure. We've got some, some tracks here oh, for an old mining car. This is cool for an old mining car. It says, the tunnel behind this door extends back about 41 35 feet, what? It is being used to store maintenance hardware for the tunnel. Something gone, vehicle used to keep the floor free of rocks. So basically they're using this for their maintenance equipment. Well, you guys are enjoying this as much as we are. We're not supposed to go this way, so we're gonna go that way. Oh, we're not supposed to go in there? I don't think so, because this is where they keep the maintenance stuff. They probably don't want to be messed with. Okay, we're not gonna go so in there. So let's go the other way, this way. So we're continuing to the end. And like we said, this tunnel goes all the way through the mountain. So we'll give you guys a view of what's on the other side. Dang. What are you looking for, babe? I'm looking for bats. I 
feel like bats would live in here. You find any guano? No, I haven't seen any guano. Guano. Guano? Guano. Guano, guano. Tomato. Tomato, tomato. You know. Dear diary, we're still walking. We're still walking. Uh, we still feel like there could be a potential Blair Witch in here. But that would be, okay, if, if there was a Blair Witch, What's like if you've seen that movie, I haven't the camera that. would be like this. Oh, I feel I feel obligated to thank my buddy Vince again. Vince is a really good friend of ours. He gave us the drone, which is epic. But then also, as a going away gift, when we first hit the road, he gave us these bike lights. But you know what? They're so bright and they're so awesome that we use them for like everything. So thanks, buddy. Dang, look at that view. So we just came out of the tunnel. This is our epic view. So this over here, this is the exit on the other side of the mountain that he carved completely through. This is, it's so cool. Every time I come here, I'm just like still blown away by it. A few moments later. So we were attempting to fly the drone. That might be the best crash I've had in the drone. I saw it's, that I didn't get it on film. It, um, so it's been struggling with the battery all. Did it, is it missing a piece right there? Yeah, it's missing a part. Uh, it's been struggling with the battery, with the temperatures, and it took off, and it was like everything seemed fine, and then immediately it was just like low battery landing, and, and I lost all I lost all control, and it just landed in that bush right there. Um, and it made a really funny noise, like it was so angry. And, uh, if if I got any footage, I'll put that in the video, and you can see it going. Ah, Self-destruct. Uh, but I'm gonna go look for the part that we lost. Cool. So you won't be getting any more drone footage. Excellent. <laughs> So one of the things that I really love about California is how many remnants there are from the gold rush days, like mines and tunnels like this. They're all over the place. Oh shit! Oh, go pro Oh no! Don't fall! No! <laughs> oh god. Oh my god! The other GoPro just fell out of my lap fail. and rolled down the hill. Oh my gosh, Melissa was sitting down right here. She was sitting right here and she was filming with one GoPro and then the other one rolled down the hill way down there. Good, good thing it's a GoPro, right? Oh no. Oh my gosh. I tried to stop it. Good thing these things are basically indestructible. Wait, I don't see it. Shoot. Right. You see it? Right. Right. Where? Oh, I see it. Oh man, that would have been funny if this thing had been on. Oh god, I got it. Go. Oh jeez, I got it. Good thing it's a GoPro, right? Yeah, seriously, they're basically indestructible. Now I'm gonna have a lot of fun getting back up this hill. The That's GoPro a... was up here. It rolled all the way down the hill. <laughs> that was a pretty steep hill. All right, I'm coming to uh, coming to you live from the Hero 7 that basically just rolled all the way down this hill. Uh, appears that we are good to go. Slight little scratch, but I don't think it's gonna affect anything. And I told Melissa anyways, I was like, if we scratch it, we could just we could just get a Hero 8, you know? Because we totally need another GoPro. Hashtag not sponsored, but wish I was. Well, we made it. Drone flight was a fail. GoPro down the hill was a fail, but it was quite funny. It is very bright out here. All right, we're gonna go on to our next uh, place. Next stop. Next stop. We found some some proper snow. It's uh, I'd say it's anywhere from it's over a foot, I think, 
Unfortunately, where we want to go is, is way up in the mountains over there. I don't know that we're going to make it today, so I don't know if we'll show you guys the location, but it's an epic day. The Ram is killing it. We've just been charging up this big old trail here. Truck is working great. We do have snow chains um, in case we do want to keep on going further, but we'll see. So we got to this epic spot, absolutely epic. Look at this view behind me. And I tried flying the drone again and I had about 40% battery and it goes up and as soon as it gets up, it's just like battery critically low landing. And it's just trying to land way down the mountain over there. I've never really flown the drone in such cold weather, but it's definitely not liking it. That's something to keep in mind in the future. I guess I need to make sure my batteries are 100%. I mean, I don't know. In the comments, let me know if you know anything more about droning and drones and cold weather, because it's kind of seems weird to me, but I guess all batteries of electronics just don't maintain and hold their charge as well when it's extremely cold. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a snow angel. You're going to make a snow angel? Go. Oh. Do it. Do it. Okay, now get up. Zemba, get her. Get her, guys. Here comes blue. Ah. Get him, Blue! Hi, guys. Blue might have ruined your snow angel. I think Blue ruined their snow angel. We ended up turning around because the snow kept getting deeper and deeper, and it's kind of hard to tell, but over here, there was a pretty steep hill climb, and considering we are by ourselves today, we thought it would be wise to just have a nice snow day rather than pushing our luck. So it's super hard to tell, but I have my handy-dandy binoculars. And right over here, you're not gonna be able to see it on the GoPro, but basically that's where I was like, oh, that part looks kind of sketchy because it's a pretty gnarly turn that was really deep snow. And another Ram, basically the same truck as mine, attempted to go up. And now I'm here just kind of watching to make sure he doesn't need help because he's, he's right on the turn right now. And if he happens to slide off, he's done for. So. Um, we're gonna stick around, make sure he gets turned around and gets out of here before we head out because nobody's gonna know they're back here. So sometimes it's good to know when to call quits and that's what I decided to do. Um, this guy is now and he's, he's struggling back and down here. All right, so the guy is mid trail around a pretty steep snowy turn and it looks like he is either trying to do a U-turn and he's slightly sideways on this road and he's he's just sliding down sideways down this dirt road and on one side there's a pretty big embankment if he goes off that he's in he's not in a good spot right now. Uh oh uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh let off the brakes, let off the brakes! All right, he looks like he corrected himself a little bit. Oh man, I really don't want this guy to mess up here. 